Commercial TA all season two. BF Goodrich commercial TAs. That's what they are. Um, these tires are E rated 10 ply tires. And I will tell you um, the rest of it. Okay. Nice tread. Good stuff all the way around. Six new tires. So, there's all, all kinds of GoPro mounts in the center console. Um, so, let me tell you the deal with those. I desperately needed new tires on the dually. Now, let me just tell you real quick. Last, or not last year, year before, it's like a year ago, year and a half ago, something like that. Um, I got, I put new tires on the dually. And what I used were <clears throat> they're truck tires, but they were made by a company called Hankook. H A N K O O K. Okay. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, didn't it? Anyway, they had a history of making really bad tires for a long time, some Chinese knockoff crap shit tires. But they've gotten a lot better and their reputation has gone way up. And packages. That's for my wife. New Jugs catalog. That's always for me. Um, but anyway, so they have gotten a lot better with their tires from what I had heard. So I ordered new tires two years ago, almost 21,000 miles ago to be exact, for this truck. And I got, or, I used my buddy's shop and we got them put on. Well, like I just said, they've only lasted about 21,000 miles. Now, you should get 50 to 60,000 miles out of a good set of tires. Well, this truck only gets 9,000, 9,500 miles a year. I only drive it in the summer. I never drive it in the winter except for like times like right now where there's no snow on the ground. and. I don't feel like taking the plow off the other truck and I got running around and do I'll drive it. But other than that, it, it really never gets driven other than in the summer. I don't really go off road with it. I don't haul much of anything with it anymore as far as like maybe a little mulch here and there, a yard of topsoil at a time in the spring for fixing the edges of the driveways if I gotta do that, little stuff like that. But it gets grass all season long. There's always grass in the bed of this truck because I bag a lot. But uh so anyway, I should have gotten a hell of a lot more than 21,000 miles out of them tires. Either way, it was due for new tires. They were crap. They were half bald. They're, they're just shot. So all six of them all the way around. So I went shopping for tires and I had gone to Goodyear, which I knew they were going to be high, but I wanted to see, you know, what they had and what, what they were getting for a tire and prices. Well, they wanted to sell me a set of tires that were D-rated, which were the same thing as those hand cooks. Now, I know everyone's going to say for a one-ton truck, you should run E-rated 10-ply tires, which in a lot of cases you should. But one, this is not an HD truck, even though it is a one-ton. And two, the sticker on the door calls for a D-rated. It calls for 225-75-16s D-rating. And... I've never run E-rated tires on here because it just doesn't need it and I don't do a lot of heavy hauling with it and there's just really no need for it. Um, but anyway, so Goodyear wanted for a set of tires for this truck, all season, D-rated six-ply tires for six of them. It was like $1,548, okay? Now, I paid just over $500 for the last set 
for the six hand cooked tires I put on here, which obviously didn't last very long, so that's neither here nor there. But just to give you an idea, that's what I paid for six tires last time. Um, now Goodyear's price of fifteen forty eight um, also meant them mounting and balancing them, and for the tires themselves. So you know, still I thought they was extremely high. Um, especially for a d-rated tire which is what would go on like a uh, a lightweight small suv um so i went and checked out sam's club now that's where i got these tires that you see on it now and obviously you saw in the pictures i was at sam's club these are bf goodrich all season tires they are the commercial series um E-rated, did I say that? E-rated in 10-ply tires. Um, and altogether, the purchase of the tires, them mounting them, balancing them, uh, disposing of my old six tires, whatever, everything out the door was $973. I thought that was a good deal. It's commercial Siri tire. It's E-rated, which is the best I could get for this truck. And it's a 10-ply tire, which means it's even stronger. So I think that they should last 10 times longer than the other tires I've had in this truck. And I am much better off, but that just gives you a rough idea what Goodyear wanted compared to what I got at Sam's Club. Also for a very good tire, but a 10 times better tire than what Goodyear offered and for $600 less. I don't know if you can see it. It's really faint. But it's starting to snow. Not a big fan of that. Ah, Cadoba. Mm hmm. I like it. Just got my new tires all muddy. Proven Industries. I need to move this trailer. See, that's all. Lock goes up in there. Turns. Can I do this one-handed? It'd be pretty cool, right? That's it. So, what I do is you grab this part now, this barrel part, and you slide it off. There's the other part. Unlatch that. Watch this. should come out of there anyway now it's out that's what it looks like that's all it is well unlike a lot of other channels I always show you guys the hardships the downfalls and the bad things that happen in lawn care that a lot of other people don't want to talk about well that goes with snow plowing too so when you're a dumbass like me and you leave salt mixed with calcium chloride in the hopper of your salter it hardens up now they're calling for like a half inch of snow tonight so i need to go salt up the parking lot that i do um later tonight and so i hooked the dually up to the enclosed as you guys know it's been the enclosed has been pulled up forward and the plow truck has been back on the side of the house so i hooked the dually up to the trailer and put it in the back and pulled the plow truck out to let it warm up and you know so i can load the hopper up and then later tonight once everybody leaves that parking lot and goes salt it but anyway i noticed that there was still probably about 50 pounds 60 pounds of salt in the hopper and it was chunked up all over the propeller so the last thing you want to do is jump in the truck and hit the control panel and turn the spinner on for the salter because if it is rock hard and locked up in there you'll snap that propeller right off and then you're in big trouble so I got out a little mini pry bar and a hammer and I started breaking away all the salt there which is good because it was uh it was definitely hard and chunked up there you know I could have got myself in a lot of trouble but anyway so I broke it away and then once I broke it free I threw the uh I clicked the uh or I kicked the spinner a couple times with my foot to make sure it would turn and it did it turned freely so then I kicked the uh the salt around to put the propeller on and well there's the there's the pattern that's how width of a pattern i get out of it 
Um, and that changes depending on where you have the dial at. The dial set at 60 out of 99. Um, it's set at 60 right now. Usually when I salt lots, after I scrape them down, I have the uh, I have it set about 40, 45. But uh, it's 60. That's how wide it goes. But anyway, so I blasted all the leftovers on there. And see, those are the chunks that I broke off of there. They were all chunked up in there on the propeller. And uh, so anyway, I broke it all off of there. And now I'll put some more in the hopper and she'll be good to go when I go to salt later. But see, there's hardships with salting too that a lot of guys won't tell you about. And that's one of them. If you're an idiot like me, that's what happens. New bearings and the races that they set in for the front of the Great Dane, for the casters. I'm gonna pull those apart. Oh. This knife is getting dull. You know how many times a day I use this thing? Usually I could just, and it'll cut right through. Well, it'll cut through that time. But this thing's getting dull. Um, but that's for the front of the Great Dane. I'm going to pull those casters out of there. God, I felt like I had shit in my eyes all day. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm going to pull those front casters down out of there and see if the bearings are just shot in there. So I got all new bearings and races for both sides. So I'm doing one, might as well do the other, right? Right. So that is that. I don't know what this is because I thought the bearings were in one, the races were in the other. Oh, you know what? I ordered uh, what's going on here? I ordered the new seals that go in the bottom of each one too. So, man. I just got to wrap this thing in a thousand sheets of paper. Here's the packing slip. Yep, these are the seals. He wrapped them all in paper like the packing slip and then he printed it out and then taped it together. Whatever, I guess if that's how they want to do it. But here's the seals. Remember how I told you guys before that everything on these Great Danes cross references to a John Deere part number? They do. You want to try to avoid that as much as you can because if you can actually find a Great Dane part, these for example. You know how much I paid for all four? Okay, each one of those casters going up into the yoke takes a bearing in the top and a bearing in the bottom. And you have to have a race on the top and the bottom. The race is what the bearing sits in. Okay, so I got all four of these, two for each side, obviously. And I paid, I think it was $9 for all these. Found them under the Great Dane part number. The problem is you cannot find a lot of things under the Great Dane part numbers anymore because they're not in business anymore. Um, but I found the exact same bearings on only under a John Deere part number. They wanted twenty-seven dollars plus like nine dollars shipping for the four of these. That's the difference. Get that little stupid ass deer off there. You know, because we're international harvester anyway, right? Get that little deer off there, and it changes everything. Unfortunately, I could not get these bottom seals under a Great Dane part number, so I think I paid... Well, he packed it in it. It's on here somewhere. Uh, $20.88 with free shipping for these two little seals. $20 for two of them. Pathetic. Thanks, John Deere.